And thanks for joining us today on 13 News at Noon. I'm Anne Marie Tiernan in today for Matthew Fultz. This is a big day as thousands trickle into central Indiana for the great American eclipse, and we've got you covered. In fact, our teams are spread throughout central Indiana, covering all the different events that are happening all around. Chuck Lofton and Lindsay Monroe there on the left side of your screen while they're out at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. On the top right, we've got Jenny Ronovich, who is at the Franklin Amphitheater, and then we've also got Samantha Johnson. She's at the Speedway. And Sam kicks off our team coverage this noon. Hey, Sam. Oh Hi, Anne-Marie. We are three hours into the celebration here already, and we've still got three more hours until we are almost to total, so to the total solar eclipse this afternoon. And check out the crowds here behind us, you guys. There are so many fans out here. If you look closely way back in the back, the Borg Warner Trophy is here with us as well. So many excited spectators, including these guys. Check these guys out. Hello. They made the road trip from Chicago, and you guys were smart. You came in when? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. And we've got all kinds of exciting goodies. Tell me what's in your bag. Um, there's some, um, like, activity books, um, tours, and stickers. Yes. You guys have been pretty busy already today, right? What's been your favorite part so far? <laughs> Maybe the track tour? The we track did a track tour. tour. Okay, track good. Tour. Yeah. And what do you think is going to happen when it when the solar eclipse happens later? What are you excited for? Um, I'm just excited about the moon because I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. She wants to be an astronaut, you guys. We have so many experts from NASA here, too, which I see those NASA pins. You guys look pretty good. What's This is so much more than four minutes of totality, right? This is about an event and coming together as one. So why was it important first time at IMS to be here today? Um, we just we came for the programming from NASA and Purdue and to just learn lots of things and yeah. see the eclipse. Yes, <laughs> me too, right? We're all excited for that. Guys, we have so much more coming up here at noon. In fact, we are going to hear from Lester Holt. You know him, you love him. He will join us live coming up at 1215. We're excited though. How about we wave? We'll send it back to them for now. See you guys soon. <laughs> all right, we're waving back and uh, what an exciting day. Well, one of the big spots to see the eclipses at the state fairgrounds are activities for the whole family as folks gear up for a once in a lifetime opportunity. Chuck Lofton, and Lindsay Monroe are there right now. And we also have Jenny Runovich. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, hi, Ann. We are in Franklin. We are at Young's Creek Amphitheater. This is a festival like atmosphere. This is the Franklin Eclipse Fe Festival. And take a look. If you just look around, it kind of feels like any other summer or spring festival. But then you look a little closer, and there's something different. All of the chairs are facing away from the amphitheater and the DJ. That's because they are all ready for the eclipse. And if you look around, you'll also see uh, so a lot of telescopes throughout the area. And what's really cool is this is kind of a family friendly event. There's food, there's music, there's games, kids activities, some eclipse themed markets. But these aren't people who are just from Indiana. I want you to come with me. They have kind of a cool thing here, a map where they're showing where everyone came from to watch the clips here in Indiana. So you can see this map with little pins in it. Where in the world are you from is on one side. Where are you from is on the other. So this side, people have come from all over the world. Take a look at the pins. You can see from Japan, from Turkey, from South America, from Europe. Europe all over just to experience this and the path of totality here in Indiana. And then you can see across the country a lot of pins in central Indiana, but a lot elsewhere too, from California to Florida to Maine. We are seeing them all over. Where did you guys come from for this eclipse experience? Yeah, so we're from uh, near, near Louisville, uh, but she uh, is from New York. So why New York all the way to central Indiana? Oh, well, he's my uh, uh, fiance, so. <laughs> so you tagged along. <laughs> tagged along. Had to see it. We, we had to come see it up here where it's going to be, you know, as close to total as possible. And we're all really looking forward to it today and happy to join in all the fun. It is fun. And you look at the skies now, guys, and they are looking good here in downtown Franklin. This festival continues all afternoon. We'll bring you more from here later on today. Anne-Marie. 
All right. Well, it's exciting to see all those pins and this excitement uh, from Franklin tonight. Thanks so much uh, this afternoon, Jenny. Uh, well, one of the big areas to see the eclipse, as we said er earlier, is out at the state fairgrounds. They have a whole day of programming out there right now, and Chuck Lofton and Lindsay Monroe are there as well. Hi, guys. Hi, Anne Marie. Hello there. I think that we are going to be exhausted by the time the <laughs> eclipse gets here. We've had so much fun out here with a lot of people, just That's like right. Jenny and Franklin from a lot of different places. We've talked to people from Iowa, lots of people from Tennessee as well, and Chicagoland mm -hmm. area. I think this is a really easy place for them to come. Yeah, although we were hearing I-65 was a bit of the <laughs> challenge as some of these people from the Chicagoland area came. Ruth Ann is from here locally, lives in Meridian, Kessler. Why'd you decide to come to this location, Ruth Ann? It was very close. Yeah. Very family friendly, and we just wanted to, you know, have something fun to do today. And you've got your family with you. I do. I have a uh, sister and brother in law from Massachusetts, and um, my grandsons, and my daughter in law, and my husband. Now, have you ever seen an eclipse before? We went to Southern Illinois in 17. Was it 17? Yeah. So we had to had to be here for this one. And speaking, thank you, Ruth Ann. Speaking of 2017, um, you were in Hopkinsville, Kentucky then. I was, yeah. Totality broadcasted live. And the cool part about this versus the one in 2017 is it's going to be over a minute longer here in central Indiana. Which is fantastic, yeah. especially as Sean gets to the forecast coming up momentarily. Again, you actually can see still get in here if you would like. Um, we're expecting more people to continue to come in. A lot of people have already nailed down their positions here. We've got entertainment, we've got food, and we're celebrating the Olympics with WTHR, not only with our Olympic Pong and the Cornhole Games, but <laughs> with the Weather Academy, right, Lindsay? That's right. We've got kids out here. We're doing Tornado in a Bottle. We're learning about severe weather and a little science. We're going to talk about uh, the science behind the eclipse as well. So, Anne-Marie, we are counting down, and we're expecting a great time here at the Indiana State Fair grounds, of course, we're in a really wonderful position because all we have to do is look south, southwest, right, Lindsay? That's right. That's and we're, we're going, to, going to see it. So the glasses are ready at the state fairgrounds. And Anne-Marie, we're all ready for the great American eclipse. All right, Lindsay and Chuck, thanks so much. And you know, viewers, if you don't have your glasses just yet, there might be some time for you still to find some, but it probably is best to call first before you go. We did call out to Sonic because they had a glasses giveaway and we want you to know that they're out of their supply right now. But within just the last hour, I talked to someone who was a manager at the Kroger store downtown. That lady told me they had about two dozen of the glasses left and they're $1.99 each. And remember, look for these things before you buy. Make sure that they have proper UV protection. That's that ISO label that you were looking at there. It's usually on the inside of the glasses. You can also test the glasses out inside. All you have to do is hold them over your phone's flashlight in front of the glasses briefly. And if the glasses work correctly, you should see a dim dot. Also, there are a couple of tips that IMPD wants you to remember before you head out this afternoon. They say you should avoid planning to travel during the eclipse or in the main path if you can. They also say don't wear your eclipse glasses while you're driving. Remember, when you're out, watch for pedestrians. There are a lot of guests out in downtown. They're not familiar with our streets. They don't know the area, so help them out with your driving. Also, if you are driving, please do not stop along the highway or park along the shoulder of the road for viewing. Pull off and find a parking spot. All right, it is now coming up on 1210 on this Monday, and here's a live look downtown in Indianapolis right now. We are prepared for the solar eclipse and the weather is really important. You can see a little light cloud cover there yeah. and that's really important because people want to know, Sean, how is that going to impact what we see and is it going to diminish the experience? No, no. Uh, uh, Matt, who's been out at Butler University talking mm -hmm. to professor out there, very minimal impacts at, at best and it's just a thin layer. Uh, mm -hmm. We're talking 25,000 to 35,000 feet. Okay. Uh, we're in good shape. We're threading the needle, as we've been saying <laughs> here. We had the rain and storms yesterday. Mm -hmm. We'll have some more tomorrow. All we need is just four minutes, my friend. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here you go. Uh, we told you it was going to be <clears throat> at least brightening up. We certainly have had that. Also mild, too. I mean, we've already got near 70 plus on the map around central Indiana. Camera network showing just a few high clouds right now. Look at this beautiful shot from the Motor Speedway. Our Angela Buckman's out there, Samantha Johnson, uh, Rich Nye as well. We'll have team coverage. Here's the path of totality with visible satellite. You can see again 
some cirrus clouds and some remnant contrails from some of the jet liners that are flying in that layer uh, aloft here, uh, which is fairly saturated. So we're going to see some intervals of this high cloud cover. It does not impact uh, the viewing in my, uh, in my opinion. Partial begins at 150 totality for Indianapolis 30606 and it goes until 30953 and Amory look at the drop in temperature there during totality. It's quick doesn't last long but it will be noticeable here. Hey, Sean, we may actually enjoy being uh, having temperature drop just a second as totality takes place. We're live here at Butler. We've got some events going on. We've got telescopes out for the public so that they can look at the sun and even sunspots on the sun right now before the moon starts covering it up. But coming up for Anne Maria and Sean on live television, we're going to have an astronomer come with us and they're going to talk to us about this cloud layer and exactly what you can see, even though there are a couple ice crystals up there, how the corona will look. You don't want to miss that. That's coming up. <laughs> 